Uh, here we go once again. Let's just go straight to the ship log today. We uncovered so much last time, but there's still so much more happening on Giant's Deep that probably will take a few more loops for us to fully understand and see. We found the construction yard. Oh my god, whoa, it's like we're actually filling this thing out. Dang, okay. Orbital probe cannon. Which one's new? The broken remains of a space station in orbit around Giant Steep, there are three access ways branching off from the central hub area. And from looking at all the stuff, we learned that they built this so that they could find the eye of the universe. But the two Nomai that were in charge of checking the power settings, I guess, they really messed up because they pushed it to the max and the whole thing broke. Oh, but look at that last line there. The Nomai pushed the orbital probe cannon above its maximum power setting to create the greatest chance of finding the eye of the universe. I feel like that's gotta be related to the flash that we see in the beginning, right? Don't we have that event here? Oh, I guess we never visited it, so we don't have it here. Okay, these three modules, I don't think we finished looking at them properly yet because all of them still have a question mark on it. We definitely have to go back there again. We also learned about the ocean depths. There is apparently a way to get under, but to find out how, we would probably have to go to the Southern Observatory at Brittle Hollow's Equator. Why don't we make that our goal today? Yeah, I don't even think we finished looking at the construction yard. Did we? This does have a picture now, so... Wait, having a picture just means we visited it, right? It doesn't mean we finished looking at everything there? I don't think so. This island's where the orbital probe cannon was built, and for some reason, the Nomai put the cannon on hiatus, and the cannon didn't fire. According to a Nomai computer, a long-range probe was recently launched from the orbital probe cannon. Is that the same as, you know, trying to go above the maximum settings? I would assume so, but um, yeah, yeah. This is at Brittle Hollow, Dark Bramble. Okay, let's go to Brittle Hollow today. Brittle Hollow is in between Giant Steep and Timber Hearth. It also has a moon, Hollow's Lantern. Oh, the one that looks like a mini sun, right? That one seems pretty dangerous. I don't know if we can land on it. <laughs> okay. The interloper, we still haven't really seen yet. Okay. Yeah. There is a path beneath the surface that leads to the observatory. The trailhead starts at Brittle Hollow's equator. I'm hoping finding the equator will be easy. But, uh, you never know. I guess you never know. Let's give it a go. Britso Hollow would be... That's the sun, so we should be turning around us then. That's Giant Steep. Is there a better way for me to find these planets, aside from just spinning around? <laughs> now I've gone in like a 360 circle, I don't even know which way I'm looking at anymore. Oh, by the way, once we find more stuff on Giant Steep, we should probably go back to Gabro and talk to him about it, huh? Okay. That's just a little gas cloud. I don't think we can actually do anything with that. But there's Hollow's Lantern. It's a lantern, alright. But I don't think we can land on that, can we? There's... rocks? Oh, wasn't there somebody here? Rebeck? Oh, well, we can just land here. Whoa! Oh, wow! Hollow's lantern is like breaking off or something. Hold on. Oh my god. I would give myself a 9.5 out of 10 for that one. <laughs> Let's go do some exploring. Gravity is 0 0.8 here. 0.8G, there are some trees, there are some things floating all over the place from Hollow's Lantern somewhere, probably. 
Is anybody around here? Hello. Yes, somebody is definitely nearby. But we can probably look at this right here first. Oh, that's another signal. Uh, we saw something similar back on Ember Twin that Chert told us about. Escape Pod 1, Frequency Discovered, Distress Beacon. Oh, then the one back at Ember Twin! Oh! What was that? Am I okay? Is everyone unharmed? No one was badly injured from the escape pod's impact. We're incredibly fortunate. Plume and... Plume and Thatch. This is good news, at least. Have we heard from Escape Pod 2 or Escape Pod 3? No... I... I'm unable to make contact. My equipment can hear the other two escape pods' distress signals, however. If it's any comfort, both pods must be structurally intact. Felix. I'll continue calling for them. My gratitude. If we can... Thatch, the moon is approaching again! Everyone brace yourselves, swiftly! The volcanic moon has returned! Be cautious of falling ash and debris! I believe the moon has passed. This planet doesn't appear eager to have guests. We are certainly unwelcome on its surface. Then maybe there's something underground. We need to find shelter, and quickly. The volcanic moon won't be gone for long. I observed several promising sites below the surface, but we'll need to construct a way for everyone to climb safely down this cliff. Perhaps we could build platforms? That's it. Okay. Uh, I'm just looking at the map here, and we are actually right at the equator. Pretty much. That's a really good thing for us. What is this? Is that the actual escape pod? Okay, I'm thinking we can leave finding whoever's on this planet to last, because we probably want to ask them about what we saw here, right? But we can't do that if we haven't seen anything yet. Alert! Collision imminent! Prepare for impact! This is their computer system. Oh! Each of these rows, the, the little circles, there are different things here. Launching Escape Pod 3, launching Escape Pod 2, now launching Escape Pod 1. Begin flight log. Escape Pod 1, vessel has been mortally injured. Emergency sequence activated, awaiting departure from vessel. Scanning external environment, scan complete. Minor structural instabilities detected. Pockets of breathable air detected. Adequate solar energy detected. Verdict, hospitable. This planet? It's not so bad, besides for the um, debris that come down once in a while. Is that kind of like a know my symbol? Oh! Frick, I didn't read the... I didn't translate what was on it yet, but I'm guessing it said escape pod. Uh, what the heck? Oh, we're at the equator right now. Oh, we're super lucky then, because I think we found the lab. is that? Oh. Hold on. Plume, use caution! A black hole sleeps below. You must not slip. A black hole? Oh my god. Okay, I'm not an expert with astronomy, but I'm pretty sure we're not supposed to go into black holes. Oh dear. Whoa, I don't... Wait. Hey, it seems like it's actually going out somewhere else. Like the black hole doesn't just lead to oblivion? Maybe? It's very dark here though, we should be careful. And it's zero G. Oh! Okay. Whoa, okay, we gotta be careful about that. Oh! 
It's so dark. Um, I can't seem to take any more pictures with the... The scout is still doing something. Actually, where did it go? Did it go through the black hole? It's moving away. Let me bring it back though, because I need it to make sure that I'm walking to a okay path here. Surface integrity. Oh, so if the integrity is low, then the place might break off. It's actually really important for us to know then. Of note, be sure not to wander far from here. Though this area is somewhat unstable, it's safer than any we found so far. The temporary settlement is finished, but remember to be cautious of falling rocks and dust created by meteor impacts. These people are also astronauts. Oh my god. What the heck? <gasps> Whoa. Yeah, it doesn't sound like they live here to begin with. They are also exploring the planet just like us. Oh my god, what is that? I'm so scared. The moon's gonna come kill me. Thatch. This knowledge is too dear to lose. Here is everything we can recall about the signal we encountered while aboard the vessel. The signal looked like an eye, round, with a circle at the center, much like a pupil. Suppose the signal was looking for something. Wait, so these escape pods, are they the probes that came out after the cannon had an emergency? The eye, eye of the universe? Circle in the center, much like a pupil. The signal was older than the universe itself. This is the most significant detail. No Nomite clan has ever encountered anything like it. How can anything in this universe be older than the universe itself? Imagine what rare and profound knowledge it must offer. We must find this eye of the universe. Signal older than the universe itself. Round with a circle at the center, much like a pupil. Oh, this must be the symbol. Oh. oh. The signal was older than the... No. Can I... Yeah, it doesn't seem like that's something I can read. Dear goodness. The Nomai are explorers to this planet too, though. It seems like these ruins were built by them, but they're not the original inhabitants of this planet. I'd really love to find the laboratory, but look at this place, it's winding everywhere. We have to be careful about structural integrity. Here is okay. Oh, but if we want to go to the southern laboratory, probably we should be heading down to the south. Yes, that's usually how things work. <laughs> Did it just take a picture of me? Oh my god! <laughs> okay, that's nice. But we are tight on time today. Oh, you've got to be joking me. I completely forgot about this. Frick. Um... If we can reach the laboratory in three minutes, then that's okay. But I don't have confidence that we can do this. Where is our ship? Up there. Is it possible for us to just fly above? Gravity is one right now. Can I fly that high above by myself, though? Oh man, I keep forgetting about the constraints we have. Given concerns about our settlement stability, where should we construct the new, less temporary shelter? We need to stay close to the escape pod, so Felix can monitor incoming messages. We can't be rescued if we aren't present to respond. I don't believe anyone is coming to save us, Thatch. Now we must save ourselves. I agree. We're here because the eye signal called to us and we followed. If we're here to find it, we need to not merely survive, but thrive. We haven't seen a single Nomai at all, so that doesn't look very good to us. This is a wise point, Plume, and eloquently made. If moving to the Northern Glacier will keep us safer, then that is what we should do. I believe we should migrate to the Northern Glacier. What if we use gravity crystals to craft a stable path? 
building beneath the crust again would shelter us from the volcanic moon's eruptions. Okay, I'm looking at the text here because I want to talk a little bit, because time is frozen right now, right? Mmm... We have less than three minutes of oxygen left right now, and I have to make a decision. Do I go back and try to find my ship? Or do I go ahead and hope that I find oxygen? Um... So the good thing is that this location isn't really that hard to find. If we need to come back, it's not that difficult. Let's try to push forward if we can. Just go really dang fast. Oh... My god. I feel like even walking to the end of this path is going to be more than three minutes though. That's a bit of a problem. Oh, frick. I'm trying to use fuel to speed ourselves up a little bit, but I don't think we'll be okay. I'm trying so hard to escape it right now, but my... If you look at the map... I'm going all over the place! My ship... I can't... Oh... Okay, for... Oh, oh, oh! Oh, whatever. <gasps> Wait, what? What is that? Fuel level critical. It's okay. I accept my fate. But what is this? We... Oh, is this supposed to be like a white hole? <gasps> what? What is it? Using oxygen as propellant? I don't even have oxygen anymore. Well, it's okay. That loop was... for science. Was that really 20 minutes though? I'm looking at my timer right now, that definitely felt... Oh no, that wasn't 20 minutes, because I died. Right. We didn't get to see the supernova. And we didn't make it to the Southern Observatory either. Okay, let's really quickly go back to that same place again. Yeah, because we... I think we uncovered like, maybe 2% of what was actually there. Always remember to put on the suit. Escape pod 1. Yes, yeah, so we're down here again. Definitely, the other place we saw on Ember Twin was also an escape pod. Hey, what does the orange mean? Old settlement. Yeah, there's more to explore here. Holy crap! The Nomai constructed a temporary settlement beneath their crashed escape pod. The Nomai were together to recall an eye-shaped signal they encountered while aboard the vessel. What do you mean by encounter though? Like you saw it out the window? The signal was somehow older than the universe itself, the Nomai decided to call it the Eye of the Universe. The Nomai abandoned the settlement over growing concerns about its stability. There is more to explore here. One of the three Nomai escape pods. All three were launched from something called the Vessel. Oh, is the Vessel not the orbital probe cannon? The Nomai decided to migrate from their old settlement to the Northern Glacier. Which we were on the path of, but we... I don't even remember what happened towards the end there, but I was on that path. And then suddenly I was falling into the black hole. I thought we would get freaking demolished, disintegrated, deconstructed into atoms again if we fell into the black hole. But um, did we come out of a white hole? 
I thought that was more of a science fiction thing though, as opposed to hard science. But either way, dang, that's awesome. We definitely have to explore though. Unfortunately, that area that we came out of, we didn't get a marker, so I don't know where it is, and if we want to find it again, we would have to go into the black hole again. Okay, anyway, we came here, but we didn't even find the Southern Observatory yet. Let's go for round two. And this time, what I want to do is probably bring the ship closer to where I walk around with me. But the problem with that is, the structural integrity of that place is really low. So if I try to park my ship there... Well, I think I just gotta hope that I'm a good driver or something. Oh, I should have put a marker on my ship log just now. But I'm already in flight, so a little bit too late for that. That's Timber Hearth. Hello, planets. Where are you? Here we go. Hollow Lantern. Hollow's Lantern is dangerous. Definitely. There is Brittle Hollow, right? Or a dark, <laughs> dark bramble. When we go to Dark Bramble, there's something I want to try before we go there. I want to put the scout into the seed, and then we'll go check out where it is on Dark Bramble. I feel like there's definitely some value in that. Oh, look at that thing. We can't land on that, right? I don't feel like it. Um... I don't know what this is, but we'll try landing here. Whoa, whoa! Good enough. Good enough. Maybe, like, the right orientation, though, yeah? Okay, awesome. Awesome. I got my suit on. Uh, was it Rebic who is here? There are trees here, so we don't have to worry about oxygen for the time. Oh wow, that is not Rebic. Tower Shard. If they give me a signal, it means that we can find more signals by pointing the thing elsewhere, right? What? Oh my god. Uh... Are you okay? I feel like this isn't the best time for us- Oh! Oh! Oh my god. What happened there? Was that more of a glitch or...? I'm kind of scared about landing here though because what if the volcanic stuff comes here? We all good? Okay, now what are we looking at here? We got... Writing. The trees are moving! The trees in this grove wander about freely! What? The entire plant, roots and all. This is not normal, even for this alien planet. And I never see them move! Is that even possible? Yeah, to the Nomai, this is an alien place. If anyone else witnesses this disturbing behavior, I implore you, record your observations here. Either these trees are aberrant, or my brain must be. Plume is right, the trees do move. I confess, I didn't notice until I read his notes. Alarmingly, it isn't only the trees. There is other matter in this area, such as that unusual shot of rock, moving in the same eerie way. That rock is unusual for another reason, too. It possesses the color and texture I've never seen elsewhere on this planet. It looks a lot like the Schrodinger's rock. Hypothesis. This rock shard's presence is significant. We should study it. Could it be what is causing the other nearby objects to also move about this area? Tower shard. Are they actually moving? Is that why my... It's too dark right now, we can't really see. Oh! Uh... Did the rock just disappear? I thought I was staring right at it just now. I'm looking.
No, this is definitely that Schrodinger's rock, right? Frick. Hold on. Plume, Felix! I have determined this atypical shard of rock is the reason objects in this grave are behaving in a quantum manner. The only other objects we've observed displaying this quantum behavior is the wandering moon. I imagine the moon's behavior and this groves are related. In her note from earlier, Felix mentions this strange type of rock isn't found elsewhere on Brittle Hollow. What if it isn't originally from this planet? Hypothesis. This quantum shard is from the wandering quantum moon. Perhaps it is even a small piece of the moon itself. Of note, a unique signal is coming from the shard. Curiously, our friend, the wandering moon, sounds the same. Oh, that's probably why my ship was freaking out, because when I wasn't looking, somebody, something went to the ship. It's so dark here, I can't see. It's still here for now, as long as... Okay, well, let me go back for... Oh, God. Okay, that was fast. So we learned something else new again. Something called the quantum moon. We can find it by using the signal. Ah, that's related. Quantum caves, quantum shard. There is more. Okay. A piece of the quantum moon. Does that mean the moon broke off? Well, it says there's more to explore here. So maybe I should look around a bit. Oh, we're on the right side of the sun again. Oh, hey, there's still one more thing here. How come I didn't see it earlier? Here we go. I've also heard the same signal this shard produces calling out from Giant Steep, Timber Hearth, and the Hourglass Twins. Suppose there are other shards like this one. That's like, almost every planet here. <laughs> Was that the last thing I needed in this area? It might be. Ooh, how do we get in? How do we get in? Beneath your feet lies a tower of quantum knowledge, bells. If you are preparing to make your first pilgrimage to the quantum moon, descend the steps to the entrance below. The knowledge held within will help you on your journey. <laughs> we went from looking for the um, Southern Observatory to looking for a disappearing moon. Out of curiosity, if I point this thing around right now, maybe that's the moon? It's kind of hard to tell because they seem to be everywhere. Oh, we're back in the equator again. How do we go in? getting freaked out because of that. Hello, did you guys not build doors? Whoa, okay, whoa, that's... Oh, no, not again! Oh, okay, you know what? I accept it. Yeah. Now the ship is like 20,000 miles away. This is... I don't know what this is. This is what we came out of. If we go back, does that mean that we can go back to where we came from? Okay, we can't stay long here, but we can stay. What is it? Oh! Is that the interloper? This kind of looks like a part of the... Probe? But then there's like shards of ice on it? I'm sorry, we're probably going to die this loop too. There's not much I can do though. But this thing here, I don't feel like I can go inside. That's giant steep. Can I land on that? How far are you? Uh, I'm not made for traveling like that, though. 
uh, experiment number two. What happens if I walk back into the white hole? I'm trying to bump into it, but I'm not getting anything. Well, that's because the white hole is the opposite of a black hole, right? So by definition, we can't go back in. Okay, well, I mean, that's fine. It's, it's not, but <laughs> it's, got, it's what we gotta live with. Maybe we can look at some of these shards around here. We don't have very much fuel, but we know that later on, if we run out of fuel, it'll use oxygen as propellant. Oh, we're gonna die again. That makes me so sad. Hey, let me go back. Why am I floating away? Do you think I have enough fuel to go over there? I don't think so. No, I'll be trying to chase it, but I don't think I'll make it. You just let me go down? I wanna... I'm using my fuel like crazy right now. Ah, there's so many things on Brittle Hollow! There's so many things, and it's so... Did you see how quickly that happened? I took one misstep, and then I fell into the black hole. You know, at least we can take nice pictures here or something. That ship is way too far. <laughs> Let me go. Let me go back here. I know. Even the little mouse icon is distorted from the white hole. <laughs> If I want to survive longer, I really should be... I shouldn't be trying to propel, because that's using up fuel. I should just wait for the motion to take me along. Ah, I want to look at Brittle Hollow. Let me look at Brittle Hollow. Yeah, so the white hole ejects things. And the black hole... So that means these shards here must have come out of Dark Bramble or, um, Brittle Hollow, right? Right, we can't go back in. It's sort of a one-way exit here. Oh, man. I mean, at this point, why not just end my suffering? At least I can take nice pictures. Well, why don't we use this chance to maybe check out some signals around here? There's an unknown signal on Timber Hearth. That's the interloper. Sometimes when I look at the numbers, like, oh, the sun is only 22 kilometers away. It's like, oh, it's not that far. It's only 22. But then it's like, <laughs> that's, that's actually a lot, isn't it? <laughs> There seems to be multiple signals on Brittle Hollow here. Yeah. I think there was a Rebec that we haven't met yet, right? I think he might be on Brittle Hollow. But yeah, let's just embrace our death here. It's okay. This is... this is for science. We have to be on the lookout for any circular symbols with like... What was it again? The eye of the universe. A signal older than the universe itself. Ah, oh, there's just so many mysteries. I'm so curious. So dang curious. <laughs> Okay. Oops. Ah. Oh. I think Outer Wilds really captures that mystery feeling. Like, what the heck is that? That kind of feeling from exploring alien things. Quantum signal. Quantum signal. 
tower of quantum knowledge, which we didn't get to go into. Did not get to go into. Okay, let's go back to Brittle Hollow once more. Yeah, if we die again, if we don't finish, I would move on to Dark Bramble. But let's try Burl Hollow once more. Especially because I still haven't found the freaking Southern Observatory yet. <laughs> we gotta go back to the... Yeah. We have to go back to... That equator place. But if we can find Rebic here, or whoever's on that planet, that would be really nice too. Oh frick, I did it again. Hold on. Oh. Hold on. Don't freak out on me. Can I just put a marker on... <laughs> what do I want to put a marker on? <laughs> the escape pods? Yeah, let's do that. That'll make it easier for us to get back to the same place! I shouldn't have done that. Oh, frick, man. We're wasting time here. We are wasting time. Sorry guys, I uh, d my launch didn't quite go that well, but we're okay, we're okay. <laughs> I feel like at this point, we should just restart. Seriously. <laughs> and I'm kind of half dead too, look at my oxygen levels, or on my vitals. Do you mind if I just get out first? No, I can't because the port hull is the thing that's damaged. And now we're in the freaking water. It's great. Okay, we're good. Note to self, don't try to not pilot your ship until we get to outer space at least, when it's free fall. Escape pod. I know one part's still broken, but we can repair it once we get back to Brittle Hollow. Yeah, there's that dome there too, that we didn't... ...finish exploring. That's where we saw the quantum whatever thingy-majiggy. Is Rebic here? I see a ship! Yeah? Okay. Let's try landing here. Slow. Oh, there's some canyons here. Oh my god, people! We've mastered this now! We're a pro at this. Okay, what was broken? Oh, this thing? <laughs> no, that just looks like that. If you don't tell me what's broken, I'm not gonna fix you. Okay, forget about the ship. Whatever. <laughs> Signals? There is a ship here. That's the harmonica signal. Okay, he's here, but... Weirdly enough... Where? Oh, you know what? I get the feeling we've parked the ship a little bit too far away again. Because we're going to be running out of oxygen and stuff. So we're learning a lot of different things here. We need to park as close to whatever we're looking at as possible, because... There's not always a guarantee that there's oxygen where we go. And then we also have to worry about fuel and all these things. Oh! Yeah, somebody's here. Where are you? Are you underground? You might be, or you could be here.
Fine, we'll look at this instead. <laughs> this planet is kind of dangerous because of all the crashing volcanic stuff. So it would make sense that the whole place would just suddenly lose its lighting. <laughs> okay. Somebody was here. Where's Rebek? The journey here from the South Pole has been, um, I'm gonna go with harrowing because of the, um, all the meteors. But hey, at least I made it here unconcussed and not on fire. Okay, let's see. I poked around a little, and there is some sort of old Nomai path that starts across from my campsite inside the ruined building with trees growing out of it. Doesn't look like anything horrible, just stairs leading down. Oh, that's where we were just now, right? But then we turned back to get the ship. I can handle stairs. After I get my supplies together, I'll follow the path and see where it leads. Oh, Rebic. Okay, well, we can look around a little bit. Oh, God. Is there a way for us to get rid of ghost matter sometime? But basically, we can tell that there's ghost matter whenever there's these little things here. I wonder if it's like gases that dead bodies let out or something. Weird. Okay, that's weird. There's more dead nomais here. Oh no! Would that be related to the camp that... We're trying to move from their old settlement to the North Pole. Right now, we're at the equator. According to what the note said, I think we were actually quite close to the entrance to the Southern Observatory. Yes, that's Rebek. Oh, Rebek, my man. Near the campsite on the equator, the path starts inside the ruined building with trees growing out of it. Oh! Like, right around where the camp was? <laughs> Why does the lighting change like that? The one with trees growing out of it. This one? Oh! Okay, so it's not the place I was looking at. Rebake? Oh, I hate this. Chert. Chert. Save me, Chert. Okay, we have to be careful about our gravity here. Rebic? Rebic? Okay, that's what we saw outside, on this planet. Are these places belonging to other planets? This is icy. This is fiery. This one seems... mossy. The Hanging City. North. I can hear someone playing music, but I don't know if that's Rebek. Gravity Cannon. Oh my god. Oh, you're down there. If we want to do that, too, then we would go here? This is looking kind of dangerous. Rebic? There's a tree there. Hey. The Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Okay, we're getting close to where we were last time. I am so sorry! Oh my god, I just broke an artifact. Oh! Oh, that's wonderful! These rings, we have to pay attention to them. Oh! Rebic! My man! Oh, you launched! 
That's great! Great job, you! Wow, I guess that means I've been out here a while, huh? Well, um, this is Brittle Hollow, but you probably knew that. Lots of history here. It's great. What are you doing here? I'm here to see the Hanging City. It's always been my dream to see it with my own four eyes ever since I was a hatchling. An alien race lived in the solar system long before our species even existed. How could I not want to see what their civilization was like? Only... You've probably heard the others say it, right? I'm afraid of space. Seriously, I'm more surprised than anybody that I'm out here. Do you want to know how I even got this far? I fell. Tripped over a gravity crystal. It's dumb luck I landed somewhere my little scout says is halfway stable. Instead of being sucked into... What's below? <laughs> I've already been. I've been gauging the stability of the ground around me using my little scout, and this seems to be the place with the best surface integrity, so I'm just gonna go stay here until I'm ready to move on. Like never, right? <laughs> but that's enough about me and my problems. You didn't come all this way to listen to me blather, did you? Heh, <laughs> that'd be... yeah. Where should I explore here? Oh wow! Where shouldn't you explore here? Um, not the black hole, actually. That's very no. Which is unfortunate, because, uh, the most exciting stuff is all below the crust, including the Hanging City. That's just to the north. You can kind of see it from here. So this planet is very unique in that it's got, like, this outer crust, and then all the good stuff is all inside the crust. And I guess it's like that because it needs to protect itself from the Hollow Lantern's meteors. There is also this big dome to the South Pole called the Southern Observatory. You can't get inside from the surface, trust me, I tried. But if it's like the rest of the Nomai structures here, there's probably a path to it beneath the crust somewhere. Good luck with exploring. Um, if you learned anything about the Nomai, I'd love to hear it if it's not too much trouble. What are you doing out here? Me? I'm an archaeologist, remember? Or, um, the archaeologist, I guess. Seeing as I'm all Timber Hearts got right now. Brittle Hollow is rich in Nomai history. That's why I'm here. This planet is an absolute treasure trove of culture, history, and science. If you have any questions about the Brittle Hollow Nomai, I'm your Harthian. Or, um, I have some knowledge of them, I mean, so maybe I can help? Oh, cool, cool, we can talk about things. I found something. Oh, cool, um, what is it? I found the Nomai escape pod on Brittle Hollow. Wow, so then the Nomai probably came here from somewhere outside the solar system. And they must have been in trouble when they launched their escape pod. But what kind of trouble? And where did the escape pod launch from? I'm so curious. This is an amazing discovery. I hope we can find out more about how and why the Nomai arrived here. Mm, remember how nobody has the translator besides me, so I'm really lucky here. I saw the old settlement. Isn't it amazing? Hard to believe the settlement's still standing, but there it is. Really makes you appreciate living somewhere like Timber Hearth. You know, somewhere that isn't being constantly bombarded with meteors and rocks and stuff. Oh, I thought you were gonna tell me a little bit more, but it's just additional dialogue, which is still nice. Cool. Nice to meet ya. And of course, us is customary. Yes. Yes. A finely roasted marshmallow. And a burnt one. <laughs> okay, we're good. You've got a bedroll here. Oh, lovely! Thanks! We can refuel here, too. This guy's just been staying here the whole time. Okay, well, time's a ticken. Let's... The Tower of Quantum Knowledge is... Did you fix this? I thought I broke it earlier. Oh, maybe that's quantum too, but let's go. Oh, wrong way. This way, right? Whoa, this is so fast! Oh! See, those seem like squares. These seem like really bad squares. Maybe how rigid the square is affects the speed of the thing. Here we go. 
I've come with my translator. Let me read your findings. Bells, be welcomed in this place. Above you stands the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. If you are making your first pilgrimage to the Quantum Moon, ascend these stairs and obtain the last of the knowledge you need for your journey. Last of the knowledge? So far, we know that if you want to go there, you have to find a signal. Uh, do we want to go up? What's this way? It just stops it entirely? Are we trying to go up if we want more knowledge? Am I going the right place at all? Because it didn't seem like you could go anywhere in the tower. Oh no, we're back here again. This is where we died last time. Oh frick, there's so many things to look at! Oh, whoa! 5%! That's definitely not a good sign. Uh, I think I made a wrong move. Maybe I was supposed to just jump up with my fuel? Below, yeah, below was the entrance. Let's go back down. But how do we get up there? Oh my god. I can only stand on this plaque here. Like this. Oh? Can I do the same thing with this? Is that a special property of the things I'm standing on, or what? Because I can't stand on these pillars. How do I get in? Do I need my ship here? Crossroads. Dang, maybe we gotta go somewhere else for now, because right now I can't quite see how to get inside. I have one plan. Do you think we can bring the ship down here? Obviously not this round, but if we want to get inside, does that hole even fit the ship? Plaque broke off. See, normally you'd walk up there, right? But then it's broken here, and... I just can't do anything about it. Well, if it's broken, it might mean that there's another way to go elsewhere. But, uh, let's go up. Like, can we not just sort of fly over there, find a hole or something? I wish we had a timer. But at the same time, that'll probably make me a little bit too nervous. Okay, this is pretty much exactly where we were last time. Those symbols that we see inside. I saw the Ash Twin Project thing again. Okay, the last time I tried to go across this thing, but there was nothing there. Do I want to go across? I feel like we're leaving the observatory though, or uh, the um, quantum thing. Which is okay, because we're not going to be able to see everything anyway. We can just go wherever things take us. Uh, is it just me, or does this go nowhere? Three minutes oxygen left. Can we make it back to Rebic? I'm sure we have more than three minutes left, right? So it would actually be worth it for me to go back to Rebic. Hmm. It's a lot of backtracking, though. Now I understand why Rebic has just been staying in his one little spot the whole time. Great to know that we have these travel mechanisms. That really helps in getting around. For now, though, I still got no idea how this place works. Oh my god! I don't think I can bring the ship- Whoa! Whoa! That's not normal, right? I think the integrity of this whole place is going down because we're getting further into the loop. Which means that this place is just gonna 
break. Oh, more things are breaking. There's something there. Hey, Rebake. I'm back. Thanks. Does this go down or up? Oh, are you gonna break this or- Wait, that's the black hole! I can't go down there! Where did I see the sign that said Southern Observatory? That's really trippy to look at. Oh, wait! Wait, I feel like this place looks a little bit different than the last time we traveled through that thing, because some of the rocks broke off. Like that? They're all going into the black hole. Oh, this angers me. Can you go up, little scout? I mean, we can't learn too much from what you're seeing here, but hey, it's better than nothing, I suppose. This is Crossroads? Where was a sign for Southern Observatory? Oh, I'm traveling the same places again and again. <laughs> this place is definitely- oh my god. So if we explore too late, it might mean that certain things aren't findable anymore. Look at this place! It's falling apart. Yeah, Southern Observatory, but the path might be gone already. Like, where is it? Should I just try to... This doesn't go anywhere, though. Oh, we gotta try. Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay. Clearly, I had too little faith. Am I looking at north or south right now, though? I don't know. Uh... Oh, I think I'm going to south. That's what the sign was suggesting anyway. I think. Should I go there? Ancient ones, you've left this hint for me, right? This torch? Again though, I think the place might have just broken off too much for me to <laughs> see anything. Okay, we gotta keep going. We gotta try. The material here. That's what we saw stuck onto the... The stuff outside the white hole. Oh no, that's ghost matter, isn't it? Frick. The whole area? Oh, frick, frick, frick. Do you think I can, like... Okay, that's not what I intended. Uh... Hold on. Can I get back onto the... Yes. Trees? That's a good sign, because... Oh, I think we're here. The Southern Observatory. Oh, frick! Frick! Oh, no! No! Ah! Oh! I didn't get a good takeoff on that one jump, and then I ended up... Screw it. What's this thing? I can at least look at this, right? Because obviously we can't look at the black hole anymore. 
Ooh, okay, we gotta be a little bit more careful here. Yeah, look at this, the cave material. That's what we saw very shortly before we fell into the black hole. But just looking at this thing though, it doesn't seem like we can do anything about it. I think that's one of the... That's one of the roads that broke off from the planet. Right? Yeah, and the whole shard ended up here, which made it kind of useless. <laughs> oh, I'm so upset! I think we were right there. We saw trees already, too. But unfortunately, we are met with this very familiar sight again. Well... I want to make the best use of my time, but... What can I look at here? I can't go back that way. I'll try rushing in. I don't think we can't- We're being propelled away. What? There's trees here! So much of Riddle Hollow has been transferred here. I even have enough oxygen to keep living. <laughs> Maybe we can explore the remnants of Brittle Hollow here? Probably not though, because we're running out of fuel very quickly. And I don't know where the trees were. I think we'll be meeting a death here again. It's okay, there is no shame in death. Actually, if there's trees here... We might be able to look around a little bit more, because if we run out of fuel, we can just refuel with oxygen. And there's trees here. Oh! Oh no! Hold on! Hold on! Oh! The supernova. Which way is it? I heard it though. Can I outrun it? Oh! Oh, what a shame, because I think in that building, there were some know my writings. I'm so upset! We were right at the Southern Observatory. It's okay, we're dying in the name of science. We can go back. We can fix this. We can make it right. <laughs>